I'm gonna give us victory. Okay, guys, before I go, I want to mention something important, okay? I'll tell you what to do, okay? Ayat al Kursi, recite that. Number one. Number two, 99 names of Allah. We just did that. Do that, guys. I'll tell you something very important. Listen to me right now, guys. Listen to me right now. Understand. Maybe you're doing one prayer. Maybe you're, you're, you just take one shower a day and it's not even a wudu and you say, okay, that's my prayer. Okay, good. Alhamdulillah. But listen to me right now. 155. That's called Qiyamat al Layl. 155. Guys, if you want to do this prayer, there's five angels. I think it's four or five. Five angels at the door. They're asking whoever, they're asking the people that live in the residence, people that live in anywhere, an apartment. They, angels come to everybody's house at 155 and they say, who wants to get close with Allah? Who wants, who wants their du'a answered? Who wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to answer their du'a? That's what the angels say at 155. Guys, wake up at that time. I know you probably can't because your imam's low because we live in North America and you're, you're watching movies and stuff and your imam's low because of certain reasons. That's none of my business. But the point is 155. If you want to sell one prayer, 155. Every, time, every day it changes by two minutes, but I think today it was 155. Guys, this prayer, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. There is so much power in this prayer. This Ramadan, I hit all the Fridays of 155 and I prayed, Insha'Allah, please Ya Allah, give me this, give me that, help me, Yishfi Palestine. I cried in my, in my sujood. Imagine, imagine Friday, the last Friday of Ramadan. You're, you woke up for 155, imagine you're praying, you're praying, it's on Friday. And it's on the last, and it's on the last Friday. And it's Qiyamat al and you're doing sujood. That's five things right there. Imagine, imagine you're doing sujood on Friday on Qiyamat al Oh my God, do you understand? Do you understand a daish uh, barakah there is in that time? That's Allah's time. Because all the, all the other ones, I think they're for, uh, maybe I'm wrong. All the other salat, you know, we're supposed to do them, they're mandatory. But that one's for Allah. That salat, we do that for Allah. Guys, 155. Do this one for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, Allah will give you a good strong, a good strong heart and He will give you, uh, He will bestow upon you patience, mercy, uh, barakah. He will bestow upon you um, love. Like you'll start to love Islam. You'll love your, your brothers and sisters. So guys, remember 155, if you can show up for that prayer, you're a zalami. You're a real jail. You're a rjel. Allah, guys. Do this prayer. Watch what's going to happen to your life. Your life's going to change. I do this prayer every day. I do this prayer all the time and I, and I read the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at, look at my heart, how it changed. You want to look at my heart? I'll show you my heart right now. You want to see my heart? Look at my face. Guys, everybody's face represents their heart. Trust me. When you're, when you're crying, what does that mean? Your heart's sad. When you're smiling, what does that mean? Your heart's happy. When you're frustrated, your heart's frustrated. But guys, I'm telling you right now. Um, your heart shows your face if if you are pure if your heart is pure your face is pure i promise you this guys i'm not lying you you can see people that are always upset right because their hearts are always angry you see people that are always happy their hearts are always happy 